Taylor County Incident Management Team has set up headquarters in Pasco County, Florida, helping with the widespread damage to all the businesses in the homes. So Ken Brown spoke with the team and joins us live now from Butler County. So Ken, we talked about this earlier, but how is this group different than other groups like Task Force One that we've been checking in with? Well, since it's Friday, let's talk about this in terms of football, right? Friday night football's right around the corner. You got to think of Ohio Task Force One like the players on the field. You see them out there doing the work, right? Cutting away debris, water rescues, things like that. When you're talking about the Butler County Incident Management Team, it's better to think of them as like a coach or like an offensive coordinator. They're behind the scenes helping get things organized, helping get people in the right places to help the people who need it most. Nearly 300 calls for help and 19 water rescues. That's how many calls came into Pasco County from 5 p.m. last night to 5 a.m. this morning. And the Butler County Incident Management Team is helping deal with those. The uh, Enclave River here has been a keen focus for us uh, as it continues uh, to swell uh, above flood stage. So that's been a, a keen priority uh, for water rescues, calls for service, uh, etc. within uh, Pasco County. Pasco County has their own police, their own firefighters, and their own emergency management team. But when you're talking about a natural disaster of this magnitude, those agencies could use the support of groups like the Butler County Incident Management Team to get their units and outside help on the same page. Assisting uh, in the response and recovery uh, from Hurricane Milton is um, really growing uh, the plan. So um, reaching back to the state's emergency operations center to help coordinate resources uh, and identify um, gaps and unmet needs uh, and then kind of bring those to the local lowest local level uh, and help facilitate uh, having those needs met. Philip Clayton works for the Ross Township Fire Department and says it's important for his team to answer the call just as they'd expect teams from other states to help in Ohio if there were ever a need here. It's important uh, for us to come down and give these folks uh, a bit of, of, of respite and relief. So you have to remember for, for well over um, nearly 20 days, uh, these uh, operators, uh, first responders, um, community-based emergency managers, uh, these operation centers have been open. So it's unclear how long this deployment will last, but they just hit their about 24 hour mark in Pasco County because it was about this time yesterday that they got their orders to move from Tallahassee, Florida, further south into the more damaged areas and the areas that need more help like Pasco County where they're at now. Reporting live in Butler County, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Ken Brown.